what's happening guys welcome back to another episode of red dead redemption 2 thank you guys so much for sticking with me all of this time we're about i think 20 percent of the way through the story so we have quite a bit to go <laughs> so if you're still enjoying the series smash the like button but uh last time we saved sean from being i believe possibly lynched in blackwater for his crimes and um after we saved him we came back to the camp and now we actually have a job with charles we're going to go hunting the camp is kind of low on rations because I'm, I think I'm supposed to be, you know, hunting and supplying the camp with, uh, already my beard hairs are getting in my mouth. This is very annoying. Um, I'm supposed to be supplying the camp with, you know, nutritional needs like, uh, you know, venison and bear meat, but I haven't been doing that. I've been having too much fun being a criminal. So I guess Charles and I are going to go out and get some, uh, meat. Am I right? It wouldn't kill anyone to have an apple pie lying around. Although I have a feeling if we did have an apple pie, a blueberry pie, any pie, this fat ass would just inhale it. <gasps> right down his throat, just like that beard hair did. <clears throat> All right, so let's go talk to Charles and uh, see what's up. I'm like, I like how this guy, Mr. Pearson, is the only one here that has a top hat. Like, a are you supposed to be a distinguished fat man? I'm pretty sure that's Mr. Pearson, right? Yes, Pearson, okay. I can kind of see all the, uh, different people's names. I need to learn their names, but regardless, let's go talk to Charles. What up, what up, my man? Let's what go you hunting. For? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Ooh. Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Yeah, 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 let's do it. We could try and do it Native American style, just herd them and they all go flying off the edge of a mountain and die. <laughs> Easy way to get a lot of meat, am I right? Or we could just kill one and be, you know, decent about it, not completely destroy the Earth's supply of bison. I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently in the early development of America, a lot of, uh, Settlers hunted the bison to nearly extinction to try and kill off the Native Americans. I'm not sure if that's true, but I remember seeing pictures of uh, just bison skulls, hundreds of them, thousands of them in a mound, because they wanted to make the bison go extinct because apparently that was the Native Americans' you primary know, source of meat. It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. Oh. <laughs> oh, PC master race, my butt crack. Hold up. Okay, let's try this again. I hope I have the proper rifle to take down a bison. I really need to get a big hunting rifle. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, of course. My father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. All right, following you, you're the bison expert. Only thing I can hunt is man. And I'm pretty damn good at that. Over there. Oh! You see them all? That's Incredible a lot of bison. Hunter. We should only kill one of them. Oh, I'll come on. Bring in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Uh, okay. Bring down one bison. Um, let me break out my rifle, my very shit rifle. Let's see if I can pop one of these fools in the scalp. Look at him go. Yeah, see, he's hurting them. I told you I'm not completely dumb. Boom, baby! Oh, wow, really? Let's try this then. This is bound to kill him. There we go. Critical shot. I can't believe that missed. Or rather, it wasn't a, a, a clean kill. I shot him right in the face. You would have thought that would have been enough to drop his ass. Right. Or we could just drag the carcass back to the camp. I mean, it's literally right over there. Okay, um, how do I skin this bad boy? Skin. I would like to make a bison jacket. That would be sick. Okay, maybe not. That, no, never mind. 
I just want the horns for like a helmet or something. What the hell am I playing? A fantasy game? <laughs> oh. It's kind of weird that in the modern world. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. There's still animals being hunted for their uh, tusks and horns. Like you would think all of that would have gone away a very long time ago, okay. but no, there's still animals being hunted to extinction for their tusks and horns. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. Really? Maybe a dead body? A human? I promise I didn't do it. I've killed a lot of things, but not near our own camp. That would just be all types of stupid. You have to kill people way away from where you live. Far away from where you live. That way they can't track it back to you. Uh-oh. Oh, poachers. No, never mind. Oh, look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Yeah, they didn't even skin them. Lead the way. So they just shot them just to shoot them. Well, that's not very nice. Yeah, I remember hearing that they would ride trains and just shoot at herds of bison, like the early settlers. Well, not the early settlers, but you know, during the Wild West, when the uh, Native Americans still owned a large part no, of the land. Shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. No idea. I mean, killing shit is fun, but I mean, if you're not going to skin and keep what you kill, then what's the point? Look, wouldn't really work for bison. a man though. On the hill to the right. Come on. Oh shit, another one died. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Wait, did this thing just die? Oh no, I could have sworn I saw this thing lay down and die. Am I crazy? What a damn waste. Yeah, okay. That is a waste. Dead bison. I could have sworn I saw that thing die right there. Maybe I'm crazy. Probably. Uh, nothing yet. The campfire still smoldering. Any juicy loot around here? Of course there's not. Why would there be? Nothing. All right. Nope. Didn't find anything. Oh, Just a fire. They haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Well, this is the part of the uh, development of America where pretty much everything is becoming more civilized. Outlaws are gone. You know, Native Americans have been abused. We have a good view from up here. I don't know why someone would still be trying to hunt the bison to extinction. Guess okay. we'll find out. You see anything? Mm. Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Yo, his tomahawk is sick! Hey, uh, Charles, how about you give me that tomahawk, man? Let's trade. I'll give you a shotgun that may or may not be kind of shit. Bastards. Probably shit. For fun. Oh, they that's what it is. Up. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Oh, come on. Killing for fun is fun. Let's kill these guys for killing for fun. It's like karma. We're, we're karma. That's exactly what we are. I really want a tomahawk. Tell me in the comments if it's possible to get one, because that would be so much fun. It has to be that. Come on. Oh right shit! Now my horse rides fast. What the hell? Napoleon! Have you been capable of this type of speed all along? Howdy there, bunch of cow pokes. Prepare to get tomahawk. You'll scalp his ass. Go on, scalp him. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? He's Calm mad. Down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Yo, let, let, let's them? kill him. Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What Excuse me? Yours? What? We... Oh! Nicely it's done, Charles. Good get him. You're crazy. I got a family. Shoot a him. Family. Oh, definitely shoot him. Don't shoot me. Save his family. They don't I'm want him. Charles, I'll get you some answers. <laughs> oh, you know what? My new name is the interrogator because I, I I'm really good at this job. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm about to beat you blind. Why are you killing those bastards and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Well, God I bet my fist knows. You're dead. 
Come on, oh, speak okay. up. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. Who would believe that? Please, don't <laughs> kill me. I'm begging you. Oh, I like hearing a man beg. Go on and beg while I'm choking you to death, son. What? Oh my God, that was fast. Did I snap his neck? You're damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Yo, okay. Charles is not playing around. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Go on and kill him. <laughs> uh, that doesn't even make sense. Native Americans would not have slaughtered tons of bison for no reason. Who would have fallen for that? Okay, is there anything else around here I can take? Ooh, a box. Uh, take. You know, th those guys had it coming. They, they were way too arrogant. I mean, you do not talk shit about two men that look like they have seen some hard days. You've discovered a recipe. Ooh, poison throwing knife? Well, ah, well, well huh? No, hmm? Oh man, this is cool. All right, well, I guess I can craft a poisonous throwing knife. Don't mind if I do. Anything else around here I can take? I'm guessing not. Uh, oh wait, nope, I stand corrected. Bread chunk, yum. I can't carry any more items. Uh, let's go ahead and try and eat something. What do I have? Oh wait, no, I'm dumb. Uh, tab. Okay. Um, do I need to restore my health? I'm not sure. Slightly restores health. Okay. Eh, whatever. Why not? You boys hungry? I'll eat straight from the can. All right, Charles, job well done. Wait, where the hell did he go? He's already gone? Napoleon, I am so mad at you. When, when there's bison that are being killed, you're willing to chop, chop, chop and go super fast. Just a, 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 a blur, just a blur in the horizon, fume like a race car. But then the minute I need you to do anything, you're slow. So annoying. All right, well, we took care of those guys and we got a bison. So uh, I guess, you know, all around pretty good day. We went hunting. Probably should have used the bow. That probably would have been a little bit more, I don't know, badass. So uh, Abigail needs to speak to us. And then down here, I believe Micah wants to talk to us at Strawberry, his new town he acquired by killing everyone that <laughs> lived there. And then John asks us to meet him uh, and Charles at the oil wagon for the train robbery. Oh yes, shit. Okay, let's go back to camp, drop off the supplies, and then we'll go uh, do the little train robbery. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get something this time better than just a couple of bonds, which suspiciously Dutch has not cashed in. I don't know. I would kind of like some instant gratification if I'm going to rob and kill people. Anyway, I'm going to ride back to the camp, so uh, I'll be right back. All right, all right. Here we are back at the camp. Just time to drop off the supplies, and uh, then we're going to go do a little train robbery. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about Misty. Oh, we're running low on supplies. Really low. It's like I'm the only person here that can do anything. Hmm, I wonder if that's the case. No, it couldn't be, right? It's a camp full of hardened outlaws. Surely someone here can do something other than me. Nope. I don't know why I'm even here. Okay, let me just drop off the supplies. Uh, hello, ding, ding, ding. Uh, donate. We're gonna run okay. out of meat here soon if we're not careful. No, no, you mean you're gonna run out of meat, fat ass eating everything up. Let's donate job, the Arthur. bison horn, prime beef. Okay, prime beef, prime beef. Uh, what else do we have here? I think that should be enough, right? No, we're, st we're still low on food. Um, man, we really didn't get enough supplies, did we? Uh, bison pelt, donate for funds. Just sure, why not? Sure it goes into the pot. And not your cock. Good job, Mr. Martin. Okay, you know what? I guarantee that I have some supplies in um, Napoleon's uh, saddlebag. So let me go ahead and check my horse. Man, I would hate to have to live outside. Just imagine living outside, essentially. I mean, a tent does not count as living indoors. Living outside, it's humid, it's hot, there's bugs. You can't take a shower when you want. I mean, that would just suck. I take, uh... I take literally, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking here? I take modern day life and all of its wonderful luxuries for uh, granted. There's so many things about my daily life that, uh, well, let's just say a hundred years ago, I would not have been able to enjoy. Plain game? Wait, what? What is this? Uh, fully restores dead eye. Oh, really? How do I put this in my, uh, my inventory? 
Uh, okay, I'm eating it. That's not what I meant to do, but sure, I'll do that. Why not? There's gotta be a way to transfer. Oh, wait a minute, I'm so dumb. I'm pretty sure I can do this, right? And then, no, I can't. Horse. Okay, there's the stuff in my horse's inventory, right? Or is this what I can use on my horse? Hmm. I'm not sure. I am very confused. Because I'm probably really stupid. That's the satchel. Now, how do I transfer this crap into my inventory space? Um. Hmm. I know you guys are screaming at your monitor. God, beast, it's this button. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm really bad at video games. Okay. Eat, discard. See, I don't want to discard it. If I discard it, that's going to mean it's going to disappear, right? Um, sure, I'll eat it. Why not? I'm hungry. <laughs> Give me one moment. I'm going to try and figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do because apparently I don't have a brain. Well, I am slightly confused still, but apparently the items in your horse's saddlebag as well as my own personal inventory are combined when I go okay, to donate. So I guess there's a way here that I can choose what items I have. Could and donate them. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, here we go. But for some reason, I can't donate these. Why not? Donate for provisions. Yeah, it won't let me. So, maybe all oh, these are cooked. Could that be it? That might be it. They're already cooked, so I can't donate ingredients that I've already cooked. Or uh, supplies. All right, well, you know what? That's fine. Now I know. I don't have to actually pull stuff from my horse's inventory. Instead, I can just uh, donate to each individual vendor as needed. Cool. Let's go over here and uh, see what's up. Actually, wait, no, do I do that? Hmm, I don't think I wanna do that. Instead, let's go do the train robbery. Albeit it's not exactly the best weather conditions to do a train robbery, but you know what, that's fine. Let's go talk to John Marston and uh, rob ourselves a little choo-choo train. Hopefully we get more than a stupid set of railroad bonds that can't be cashed in. Again, I'm not sure how you can steal railroad bonds and then cash them in because I'm sure each one has like a serial number and they're going to know. Lenny, play five finger filet? The hell? What is this? Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Feel oh, lucky, punk? Me, at least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. Mm. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. <laughs> the Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come well, on. More than a dose. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. Hey, you better take you that wish. back. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? All right, let's see how this works. Uh, change sequence and then A? Oh, W? A? Oh, wait, what? W? Uh, am I stupid? W. A. Uh, am I missing something here? I think I might. The buy-in is 10 cents. Except the bet. Wait, what? Okay, well, I think right. I'm probably gonna lose a finger trying this crap, but, uh, sure. Oh, you on my turf now, boy. Oh, that looks like it hurt. Mm. Oh, damn, someone's gonna lose a finger. Oh, wait, what? Now, now watch this. Okay, W. Oh, oh, I see. W, D, W. Okay, I've got it. W, D, W, D, W, D. Yeah! Oh, shit. I messed that one up. W, D, W, D, W, D, W, D, W, D, W. Got it. Okay, that, that was confusing at first, but I think I've got it. All right, my man, go ahead. Chop, chop, chop. And by chop, chop, I mean lose a finger. Ooh! <laughs> We're both gonna be losing a hand today, buddy boy. You're up. Damn, he got okay. that one. Son of a bitch. Okay, here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, man, my fingers are starting <laughs> starting to bleed. W. Oh, it's S this time. God damn it. W S W S W S W S W S W. I'm on fire. And I'm also bleeding. Round three. Oh. Oh, look over there. 
Damn it, that didn't work. Bison! It's on the charge! Here. Shit. He's too fast. All right. W, D, shit. W, D, W, D, W, D, W, D. I'll stop saying the number or letters out loud. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm still guessing. Did I win? Did I win? No. 10 cents? I got it? No? Okay, you know what? It's been, uh, it's been a real pleasure, my boy, but I've got to go, unfortunately. I lost 10 cents? What? I thought I won that. Oh, I bet. Oh, okay. Oh, I was about to say. Come on now. Oh. Well, it's fine. We'll play one more round. It's actually kind of fun. Ooh. Damn, don't lose a pinky. Yeah, you feeling lunky? 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 You feeling lucky, punk? I can't speak. Okay, A, W, A. What's up? Hey, go ahead. Try it. See what happens. Don't lose your finger. Oh, wow. It's getting real close. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, uh. No, I'm not. Damn, don't you just want to get him? Go take a piss. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, oh, rival outlaw gang. They just wrote in. All you. I know it's a game. They can't hear me. It's fun to pretend though. Okay. S W. Candy from me. Mm. Suck it. Okay. Uh, let's go in and leave. That was fun. Excuse me, I'm about done here. Bye. All right, all right. Well, uh, I'm probably a few pints of blood less now, feeling a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter headed, I should say. Whoa, a bit woozy, but it's time for us to ride. Go do a little robbery. Back to what I was saying, though. If, if each uh, railroad bond has its own serial number, which I would guess they would, right? Then. Um, it would stand to reason they would know which ones were stolen, so if someone went to cash them in, then obviously those are the people that stole them, right? I don't know, maybe that's not how it works, but I would kind of hope they have some type of, you know, identification number for each bond. Who knows, maybe I'm thinking a little bit too deeply into that. Either way, that was kind of fun. I'm gonna have to keep practicing. The knife game. I don't know what they were calling it, but uh, it's the knife game, you know? I actually saw kids in middle school that thought they were really cool and clever, try that with knives, or not, not knives, forks. And they, they would slap their, uh, or they would stab their fingers. Then I was, the reason I said slap is because they also had another game called the slap game. My school had a bunch of morons and all of them were probably in prison. The slap game was literally, they would sit around in a circle and slap each other in the face until someone gave up or cried. Yes, I am the only person from my school that graduated and did anything. And I'm not even doing anything with my life. I'm just making random videos on the internet like a loser. The fork game and the slap game. Oh boy, school was so much fun. Either way, I'm gonna ride down here and uh, hopefully we can uh, have a little bit of a train robbery and make some real money this time. Cause God knows the rest of my camp ain't doing shit without me. All right, here we are. Oh, I forgot. I have to drive this thing. Ooh. Oh, hello there. Getting a little target practice in. <laughs> you need it. Me on the other hand, I can suck the power of the universe into my eyeballs and slow time down with dead eye. <clears throat> well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't Ooh. careful. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, yeah? Oh! That's how it's done. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare mm. me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. 
I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened please. By yeah, my youthful vigor. Oh, it intimidates please. You. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. Old man? And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. Oh, wow, that looks comfortable. Sleeping against a wagon wheel. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. Look at me. What are you doing, here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we ready? I like him. Yeah. He's weird. Trains due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Earn? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're using that term awfully loosely. Earn. Hey. All the horses untethered? I think so. Come on, Morgan. Pick up the pace here. Oh, shut up. I've already good. had an experience crashing this thing once. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy at breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. They're left here, towards roads. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. <laughs> that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Oh, you're gonna let him talk so like much. that? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing him. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the dog, no, please. Not this <laughs> Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah, we really don't have a sense of humor at all. I think so, our, bu you know, our funny bone got shot. Jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Really? Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. That's a first for you guys. Considering we slaughtered everyone a strawberry to save Micah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. It's called having some balls. Your boy ain't scared of shit. Look at me double strap. Got a repeater and a shotgun. Real yeehaw. Oh, shit, okay. I can't really. <laughs> can't really do it. I wanna be a part of this. Hang on. There we go. Now I look like, yeah, yeah, yeehaw, cowboy. I mean, outlaw. <laughs> Not working. <laughs> Stop. My horse has died. Like a car dying on the railroad tracks in movies, except it's my, wow, that thing stops fast. Oh my God. Ooh. What's going on here? What's going on? Sorry about that. My horses ran off. Oh, damn, he got knocked down. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey. All right. Oh. Get on that train, <laughs> All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. All right, all right. Let's do this. 
Man, I can't believe how fast that train stopped. What's up, boys? This here a robbery. Oh! Knock your gentleman out. Everything you got. That's right, Chop Chop. This here is a robbery. Give me all your shit. Especially you, old man. Come on, give me your shit. Give me your shit. I know your wife's got something hidden in that crazy ass hat. Go on, give me some shit. Try and rob this guy in the fancy hat. Now I want the hat. What about you, old man? Look at him with his mustache. It ain't worth dying got a lot of fancy Robert people here. I can beat this guy? Come on, knock him out. Oh! Okay, never mind. You're gonna do it. That's fine. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. You need all your money, my friend. People like you make me sick. Oh, what? who said that? Who said that? Huh? Who's trying to get shot? Who wants to get shot, huh? Who wants to see God today? That's a trick question because I'm God. What's up? That's right. That's right. Pay up. They're throwing pennies to me. This is all you guys have? You're rich and all you've got is a few dollars? How much you got? You have a top hat and you're giving me a dollar thirty-five? I should kill one of these people just so, ooh, just so I feel like I've earned something. Come on, top hat. Pay up. How much? A dollar. All these people have a dollar. That's it. You know what? Beat him. Just beat him. Someone needs a good beating. Oh, broke his nose. Oh, that's right. Pay up. That's right. Man, these people have nothing. They're holding back. I know they are. What about you, old woman? Don't you dare have a dollar. She, a dollar. Everyone has exactly one. Okay, she. All right, I got some silver earrings out of that. What? A dollar. The first. Oh. The next person that has a top hat and a mustache and gives me a dollar is getting shot, okay? What about you, Mutton Chops? A dollar 48. Ooh, I want to kill him. Come on, pay up. Everyone's got exactly a dollar. <laughs> the hell? What about you? This is the uh, poorer side of the train. There's, they still got a dollar. What is it? You all right? Yeah, this is Coach, and they still have the same amount of money the rich people have in top hats. You ain't even taking a look yet? Wow, this was disappointing. We're gonna walk away with like twenty dollars. Not worth robbing a train. Oh! Pop! Damn! Look at that accuracy. You're welcome. Oh! Mm. Oh, we got one over here. Come on, fancy cowboy. Ah! Chop, chop, time to kill some fools. Mm! Man, this gun just is not as good as I would like it to be. Mm! Okay, there we go. We're gonna try and use Deadeye less because it's so easy. Ooh. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. Very funny. A gold tooth? Why is there a gold tooth in a box? <laughs> That's kind of, uh, I don't know, a little bit morbid. Wait, is that chewing so, tobacco? Did I see chewing tobacco? Oh, total rob? $240? Where the hell did $240 come from? I was picking, like, uh, literally dollars uh, up from people. This shoe ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Oh, search cabinet. Just keep your eyes peeled. When killing me best, right. Okay, you know, this isn't too bad. what's worrying me. $13, ooh. I'm still amazed by the fact that every passenger on that train, both poor and rich, all had exactly, like, close to a dollar. <laughs> uh, exactly close to, those words really don't mean the same thing and they don't work together, do they? No, they don't. I feel like I'm a cowboy with no education. I should probably go back to school, even though I graduated with a scholarship. Makes no sense, I know. Nothing over here, okay. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Austin Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? Are we here? You said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. Oh, there's you more. a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? Does the strawberry. Torn enough? <gasps> Remind him of strawberry. Uh oh, now there's four. Okay. Let's deal with them. 
Strawberry! Strawberry! Guys, strawberry. That's all I need to say. Strawberry. Just, you, you should know what that means. Ha! Oh, wow. Oh, that was beautiful. Ha! Mmm! Ha! Mmm! Oh, this is working out a lot better than manually locking onto each target. Oh, he got dragged off by his horse! Ha 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 ha! Boom! Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Ooh! We got more of the bastards down there! Oh, what? Who's shooting me? Oh, he's down here. There we go. Right through the penis. Oh, man. Squirting blood. You know what? I've got an idea. Where's my stick of dynamite? Oh, wait. I do have a tomahawk. Ooh. Oh. I know Charles gave me this as a birthday present. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, apparently I don't have a baseball thrower's arm. Mm. Look at that. Oh, yes. Please stand still. Oh. Wow. I'm a terrible shot. This is just embarrassing. Now I know why I use dead eye. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Mm. My sincerest apologies. That was embarrassing. Napoleon, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Ride like the wind. I should probably try and loot the bodies, right? No, never mind. We have to leave. All right, ride, boys, ride. Let's get the hell out of here. Which way are we going? <laughs> Which way are we going? Oh, they're following me. All right, let's, let's go this way. Chop, chop. Oh, that's right, Napoleon. Look at you go. Woo, you are fast. I think maybe the reason my horse was so slow from before is because I wasn't feeding him or brushing him or doing anything to keep his health up. That, that was probably it. Again, I'm still amazed by the fact every passenger on that train had exactly, well, not exactly, close to a dollar. Like, no one had anything else. Still, it was kind of fun to beat a few people up. Whoa. What was the take? Over 250? <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be $100 here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, bro. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Oh my god. $1,100 take. My share's 200 bucks. All right, you know, at first I was kind of hating on this idea, but that turned out pretty good. I don't know where the rest of the money came from. We like robbed every passenger, they had a dollar, and then magically we ended up with over a thousand dollars. Not that I'm complaining, but damn. There must have been a strong box back there somewhere that had oodles of cash. All right, let's go back to the camp and uh, see what's up. That was actually a lot of fun. You know, I just realized, I think I could have done that job during the day. I think, right? So if I can do jobs during the day, uh, I'm probably gonna try and do that more often. I feel like at night, the game kind of loses a little bit of its impact. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see, but if that's not the case, then that's fine. Either way, that was a lot of fun. We got a, a pretty good stack of cash. Now, if only I could find a way to spend my money, as in getting a new gun, a gun that I want. Yes, I can get a free gun from uh, the general store, the catalog, but I want that Winchester repeater or the hunting rifle. Those are the two guns I want. Or a new outfit. You know, your boy's been rocking these studs for a while, and uh, it was quite fancy at first, but now, Kinda want me a, a real, you know, city slicker outfit. Get like a, uh, a gambler's outfit with gold and maroon. Maybe uh, a, a proper tie with a, a gold tie clip. You know, something that says I'm not an outlaw. <laughs> and I definitely have an education. Either way, let's go back to the camp and uh, see what's up. And of, of course, the camp's right here. I said that as if it was going to be a while. Ignore me. All right, all right, boys. We just got to robbing a train, yeehaw. So, uh, let's see, what do we have? Um, we need to go talk to Abigail. And I wonder what she wants. Nope, okay, come on, Abigail, show me the details. Uh, Abigail needs to speak to you, okay? About what? Howdy. Lovely day, lovely day. Actually, no, it's not as depressing and cold. Didn't I move any faster? Oh my God. Good morning, Arthur. Guess not. And we still need more food. That's amazing. 
I could go hunting later on, I suppose, on my Hi, own. Arthur. Come here a minute. Howdy. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. <laughs> Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? <laughs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Take him where? What are we going to do? Go fishing? Sounds like a drag. Why do they have a kid with them? I would not want to have a kid with me if I'm an outlaw. You have a good night's sleep with no pillow in your clothing without taking a shower? Boy, I would love to live back then. Go to Jack. Well, how about Jack comes to me? Jack! Oh, I was trying to do the whistle for my horse, but it, of course it won't work. <laughs> oh, and I have to walk with the pace of a snail. So much fun. What's up, Jack? What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Watching sure. Oh. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, Arthur's a bit weird. There's uh, a few people in this camp that seem like they're... I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Oddly nice people. And then the rest of them are kind of iffy. My favorite characters are Lenny, uh, obviously Arthur, the protagonist. Oh, then, Uncle Arthur? And, uh... Probably the uncle as well, with his rosy cheeks and alcoholic problem. Um, and Mr. Pearson's all right. A bit weird, but he's all right. All right, kid, come on, chop chop. Get your ass up on the horse. I haven't got all day. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, I lift him up, don't I? All right, come on, Jack. Chop chop. You better watch where you're swinging that pole. If that hook gets lodged in my back, I'm going to throw you in the river. All right, all right. Let's go fishing. Let's go so much fun. Where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. <laughs> and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Look, rabbits are out. Aw, little fuzzy bunny rabbits. I want to shoot them. Only joking. I've tried to go fishing before. It is not my cup of tea. It was no fun. Spent like six hours trying to catch a fish. Ended up catching a little tiny one. Like, I'm talking about tiny. No fun. If you guys are good at fishing and you enjoy it, then more power to you, but your boy is not a fisherman. Mm -mm. Not even close. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. You know, we can go fishing with a stick of dynamite. Good way to get fish. Just blow the uh, river up. I'm sure a few, a few will float up. Or a few chunks, here? rather. <laughs> Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Man, this is a gorgeous location. I can't wait to get started. All right. Um, somewhere I have uh, a fishing rod, right? Is that what I'm looking for, a fishing rod? Oh, here we go, yes. First, we need some bait. All right, bait wheel. Um, what do I want to use? Oh, jeez. Oh, 
bitch love cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? <laughs> Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. There we go. That's how it's done. That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I feel like there's a fish on my line. Look you at how, uh... Bite, oh, there it is. There. I was about to say. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Okay. Come on, little fish. This is there we go. Oh! Don't jinx it, kid. Yeah, go on to swim that way, fish. Yeah. You're about to beat yourself. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. What's so hard about it? You're just sitting there with a pole in your hands. Oh. Stop wiggling, fish. You're gonna die. Come on, just uh, accept your fate. Why am I not catching any? Just be patient. There we go. Caught one. I'm gonna chop you up into little bits and eat you. Psych. Look, I'm too scared. It's a small mouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Oh, what? I just got the fish, damn it. All right, whatever. Get your ass back in the river. Yeah, uh-huh. Swim off. Go back to mom and dad. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Hmm. Well, at least I caught a fish. Uh... Put a little cheese on there. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Mmm, don't get lost. All right, let's try and catch a big fish. I want a whale. One whale, please. See that cast, Jack? Or a, uh, a, a, a swordfish. Yeah? Oh, okay. See, I don't know what that means. The string is really... What's the word? Taut? I think I got one. It's really tight. I don't know. Really tight. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say. I've never been fishing before except once and I got scared to death. Yeah, come on. Bring your little fishy ass over here. Yeah, go on and swim. Jerk around in the water. You got It's time for you to pay for your sins, little fishy. You're going to fish hell tonight. Look at these fish over there. They're like, they're like no, son, come back. That's the mom and dad. I'm gonna kill your little fishy son. Yeah. Well, this is clearly the spot for smallmouth bass. You're joking. Is it not big enough? You know what? Screw it. I'm keeping it. Five pounds, 11 ounces. Better than nothing. All right. Uh, where's Jack at? I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. <laughs> huh. Oh, this is so enjoyable. Love fishing. Well, I still say, there. stick a dynamite. You'll see. It's a surprise. It'd make our lives a lot easier. Oh, found something. Fish on the line. Hang on, I'm trying. I don't want the line to snap. There we go. That's right. Bring that little fishy ass over here. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. Okay, we have two fish now. Please be a big fish. What is that? It's Nemo. The fish is nothing. That's like just one pound. That's a little a bite. It's not even a bite. It's like a morsel. There's a crumb of meat here. Get your fish ass back in the water. 
disappointing. All right, is there like some type of bait? Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Wow, who are you? Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? No. Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. Pinkertons? You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. That's it? $5,000? For me? Shit, I'll Can turn, I turn myself, myself in. in. <laughs> we want Vanderlyn. No way! <laughs> Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Shit, what? Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. <laughs> Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. What? <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> what? Is that a threat against the kid? I will cap your ass right here. No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's Damn pick it. up your things and get home. Well, does that mean they know where our camp is? I would assume so. They wouldn't let me go if they didn't have some type of, you it's know, idea right, where Jack. I live. You might be worried. Let's head back. All right, well, that was a terrible fishing trip. <laughs> so I have a chance to turn in uh, Dutch, do I? Might be worth it. No, I'm joking. We're not doing that. Loyalty. Even if everyone in my camp is completely psycho. Although, I could turn everyone in and Why go back and get that piece of ass. You know, his ex. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> 